scared there's lipstick on my teeth. I don't know why, but like today I can't keep the lipstick off my teeth. I don't know why. There's that. I don't trust it. I'm probably just making it worse. Who knows? Can we just take in that today I am Peter Pan? Can we, can we just, is it not adorable? I love it so much. I know the lighting's gonna be super weird. I apologize in advance, but it's like 5.30 in Canada, which means darkness because winter time. And therefore, I'm sorry, but Jay wanted to film a video, so Jay filmed a video and the lighting's gonna be weird. Sorry, not sorry. I tried to do lighting, kind of, didn't really work. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jay, and I'm here with the book jacket tag. I wasn't actually tagged by anybody. But I mean, when am I ever tagged by anybody? I always do the tags that I'm not actually tagged in because the logic of JN doesn't make sense. We should all know this by now. It was created by two paper girls, and I will leave their link down below so you can check out the original video. There's a total of eight questions that I'm supposed to be answering, so without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> Question 1 is a book you bought purely for the cover, and I'm going with Renegade by J.A. Swords. Honestly, I think it's because I wanted her hair. Her hair is so nice, and why Why can my hair not look like that at any given time? Never. It's never looked like that. When I try to curl my hair, it just falls flat. doesn't know how to curl. You have to, like, shower, and then put your hair in a bun, and then let it dry, and then take it out, and then it will be curly. But my hair doesn't hold curls, so I wanted her hair, and that's why I bought the book. Question 2 is your favorite book cover series, and I am going to go with The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. I have The Mockingjay because this is my favorite one out of all three of them. I think it's just because it's the shiniest, but I just like how simple they are, and I just think they're pretty, and I like the spines all match. I'm, I like when spines match. Question three is a cover design that really annoys you, and I am going to go with The Duff by Cody Keplinger. This is the one I like. I'll put a picture of, of the movie edition. I I think it's disgusting, I think it's ugly, I hate it so much. I like this one because this is the one that I read it with, so I like it. And also I just hate movie editions of covers because they're always terrible. Is that my Mortal Instruments one? That one's nice. Question four is to name a book where you prefer another country's cover, and I'm going with Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Maas. This is the UK version. I think it's way better than the American version. The American version is the same as the Canadian version, and therefore, I prefer UK. Question 5 is to name a book where the cover does not represent what the book is about, and I'm going with Dead to You by Lisa McMahon. It's a thriller book. This cover is terrible for it. It literally has nothing to do with it. Basically, this boy goes missing, and then he's found nine years later, and he's trying to readjust to his life. I give this book a 4.5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. It's so good, I have a review. Check it out, it's right there, shameless promotion, yet again. I love this book, it's super good. You should read it, but the cover is horrendous. Question 6 is a book that had an exciting blurb but ended up being an underwhelming book. I'm going with Love After Dust by James Ward. The, the blurb is actually really cool. It says humans had known that the world might come to an end at some point, but in the end what had come calling had been more terrifying, more surprising, and more devastating than anyone had dreamed. There was no solution, no fix, just panic, panic, and death. It could have been so cool, but I gave it a 2 out of 5 stars because it was really boring. Question 7 is a book that you picked up because of its intriguing, interesting title, and I am going with The Missing Girl by Norma Fox Maser. I gave this book a 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. It was good. I really enjoyed it. It was really interesting and it kept my attention the entire time. I did have my problems with it, which is why I only give it 4 out of 5 stars. I'll leave my wrap up for it up there. You can check it out if you're really interested. It sounded really cool because, like, the missing girl and kidnapping. I find that stuff interesting. I know I'm weird, okay? I like mental health issues and I like kidnapping people. That came out wrong. It's not what I meant. Question number 8 is to show off your top 5 book covers. I'm just going to show you 5 that I like because I don't want to sit here and try to rank all my books because I have a lot. A lot of books. The first book that I'm going with is Trollfell by Katherine Langrish. I love this cover. I've talked about it before. It's so cool. You see the little opening here? You want to know why? Because there's a troll that can look at you through it. I love it. have not read the book, but I love the cover. I think it's adorable. The second cover is Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion. I absolutely love this cover. Don't know why. I just can't get enough of it. It is really fun to take pictures of because it looks real cool when there's grass behind it. I, I just really like it. My third cover is Speak by Laurie Hulse Anderson. I absolutely love this cover. I say I absolutely love everything, but I absolutely love it. I think it's so simplistic and beautiful. My fourth cover is Unearthly by Cynthia Hand. It's shiny and purple. What more can a girl want when she likes shiny things in purple? 
it's the perfect cover. And my fifth book is The Motoral Instruments by Cassandra Clare. This is the movie edition, which I know I just said I don't like the movie editions of covers, but this one is so much better than the original Mortal Instrument covers. I just prefer it. I think it's really pretty and it's also shiny. Alright guys, so that was the book jackets tag. I will tag who I'm tagging down below. Hint, hint, it's you. So I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye. Who's this guy? I don't know. J.A. Sour Swords? Sour Souders? Souders. No, no. The five stores. I will, I said stores. Yep. Herb, what, 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 what?